everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i have got a box of new goodies from nail sugar to show you these have been released today and yeah so i'm gonna show you all of them there's foils mostly foils i do love foils though i need to start using foils more oh i love them and there's a, a few more a few like little confetti bits there um ignore tiki tropics this was released in the last lot of new releases but um karen forgot to put it in my parcel <laughs> so she sent me some i'm gonna leave the confettis till last and i'm gonna show you the foils first because i'm quite excited about the foils now i put all my foils in these little these are uh, it's actually a business card holder little folder thing i put my striping tapes in here and my foils and angel papers that i've got so far um i have got another one because that one's full up <laughs> um this one i keep my decals in um some of them stuck to the front of the folder and i couldn't get it off and i don't want to scratch it because i don't want to ruin it so these yeah so these are where i keep my stickers and decals but i've got loads of space in the back so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep all the nail sugar foils separate so that i know that they're nail sugars um what i'm going to do is you don't normally get the names the sticker names on the packets but karen put them on so that i can tell you the names of them so this first one is clara and you get what you get they are you get 100 centimeters so you get a four meter of foil and i think they are four centimeters wide so they're nice sized foil what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna place the foil in the folder so you can see how i store them and then i'm going to do you a close-up karen she's such an angel she's already swatched the foils so she said i'll send you the swatches for your video oh she, isn't she just an angel yes she is this next one is bell so there's quite a few florally ones to begin with i really like the florally ones though you uh, they just I, looking at them there's a few that i'm going to show you i think after this one that would make really really nice like vintage just like a really nice vintage set of nails so this one is bell now as well depending on how you place the foil on the nail you're going to get a completely different look each time look that's that one aren't they just cute? i love foils I've, I've have been i've funnily enough over the f past sort of two or three months i've started to collect more foils even though i've not used them that much in videos this one is really pretty this one i like this one they are it's difficult to tell as well because the foil is still folded up which is why i wanted to show you the swatches of the nails as well because it looks like there's more flowers and leaves um bunched together than there actually is like there can you see there is actually gap between the flowers this is one of my favorite ones this one don't they look amazing and i love the little vine the viney bits that you get between the ro the flowers as well the roses the next one is called charlotte this one and the next one i thought would make really good vintage nails so again there are roses on here it's easier to show you the swatch actually I didn't want to have to unfold all the foil. <laughs> I'm so lazy. Yeah, and I was like, okay, make sure you put it in the right one, Nats, you silly sausage. There we go. And I'm showing you on the back of this white thingy um, because I thought you'd be able to see them better on white. But that is, was it Charlotte, that one? Yes, it was. The next one is Rosie. My mum's called Rose. <laughs> I like this one too. Look at how big those roses are. I think they're really nice. And again, I'm going to show you the swatch of this one. So that one and Charlotte, I think, look quite similar, but they are very, they are different. I did help. I did hold them up together, but I forgot to. Hang on. Am I going to do it? No, I obviously cut it out by accident. But you, they are slightly. They are different. They are different. They are. And <laughs> um, this next one, I think that said Anastasia. My recording box is in the way. Yes, it was Anastasia. Um, I like this one as well because you get the little dots in between. I kind of like that. I think that's really nice. Um, you can't see them very well on the swatch though because I hold it against the white, which was a bit stupid. 
you can sort of see them, can't you? I like the dots. Okay, the next one is Claudia. Again, this one has got dots on it, but these ones are more tightly compact, whereas the previous one, the dots were more spread out, Anastasia's dots were more spread out. I'll show you this. Oh, I'll show you the swatch again. So that is that one. I do. I've got a thing about roses. My mum has got the most amazing roses in her garden, and they smell amazing. Right, this one is called Anais. I think that's how you pronounce it. There was a girl at school in my year, and that's how you wrote her name, and everyone called her Anais. So I think that's how you spell it. And this one, the roses are slightly more vibrant in colour. That's why I thought the other ones that I mentioned would be nice, make nice vintage ones, because they looked slightly more, I don't want to say dull, but can that this one's got these ones are more vibrant. You see what I mean? I love them. Um, I can't see the name because the box is in the way. These ones have got little blue, almost like little blue forget-me-nots through them. Zara with an H. I'll show you the swatch of this one. The swatch of this one is really quite nice. There you go. I kind of like that they've they've mixed it up and put little little blue flowers in with this one as well. So there is like a nice a variety, a nice variety of different ones. This next one is Ophelia. I love that name. And this one is Blue Flowers. That's not the best. That's not the best way to show you them because all the flowers are overlapping, so it's going to give you the wrong kind of impression. But that's why we've got the swatches. Yay! See, I like that one. That's pretty. They're not forget me nots, are they? I don't know what those are. And the next one is Florence. I think this. I decided at the time that this was one. Of, this was my favourite one. Um, only from the swatch like there I thought mm, not sure but when you when you have a look at the swatch in a minute I just like the color of the flowers on this one though I really I can't remember which one I really liked one of those roses but I can't remember which one was my favorite here we go look so you've got like purple pink blue and like orange flowers but they're really vibrant colors oh I love these I can't wait to get playing with these Okay, the next one is called Carmen. Again, these are quite nice, bright flowers. Look at those. And this one has got hollow through it. You'll see it better on the swatch as well. Oh, you can sort of see it on there. And we all like a bit of hollow, don't we? Definitely, definitely going to have to do some sets with these in the week. I think... There we go. So you can, you'll be able to see the hollow. Can you, you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? When the light hits it. I think that's really nice. I love that. It's just a nice little touch. Makes it a little bit different. The next one is called Phoebe. These are really nice hollow... What do you call it? Hollow feathers. Um, I love these. I've already got this foil. <laughs> or this design foil. And I love it. I've got so many foils and I hardly ever use them. So this is a good excuse now. I'll show you the swatch. There you go. And you can see the hollow behind the, the feathers as well. Oh, I love that one. Love it. Okay, and the next one is Freya. Now, these aren't flowers. The next two are marbly ones. So, depending on which part of the foil you use, you're going to get a completely different look again. Because some, yeah, some areas of this foil is quite plain. And then, as you can see, some areas of it is quite full with that marble look so again depending on where you place the foil on the nail it's going to look totally different which is quite nice there we go look so that's where karen has done hers and i've got to tell you i really like the blue version of it well i don't know if it's the blue version of this it's slightly different but again it's like a marbled um like a marbled foil and this one is called Faith. 
but this is like a bluey green i really really like this this one was actually rolled up it was folded slightly different to the last lot to the other ones but look i really love the pattern through this i really like this one this is one of my favorites oh it's so nice oh, i like it i like it a lot <laughs> what's that from dumb and dumber i like it a lot Oh no, or is it Ace Ventura? I don't know, it's something to do with Jim Carrey, I know that much. So that is Faith, I'm going to show you it on the... There we go, look, that not that like a proper nice marble? One of my faves. Have I said that a lot? That's one of my faves. But that is. Then we have got Nova with an H. She keeps adding H's in. <laughs> this one was so holographic. I don't know that it showed up very well on my camera, but in real life, I was like, oh my days. You need to put your sunglasses on. This one was really nice. Now, when I do put it inside the sleeves, it does dull the be hollow a little bit, but it's fine because once you take it out, boom, you've got your hollow back. It's so nice. Look, isn't that nice? And that's a foil, and you get this amazing holographic look. I love it. Oh, God, I love holographic stuff. It's so nice. Okay, the next one is Lola. This one's really unusual. I don't know how I'd describe this one. Have a look at it. It's almost like... It's, it's like a holographic, iridescent... Like, like do, can you, do you see what I mean? It's like holographic, but it's not. It's iridescent. And then you're like, no, but is it? But it is. It's really bizarre. Really, really nice. I like that one. And I think Karen's used that one to create some stone, gemstone looks on her YouTube channel. Um, Her YouTube channel, I do link in the description box below. Look, can you see here? It's it Actually, you can see better when I take the white away. But you get that gorgeous, like, iridescent look. Look, you can see it much better there. So have a look on Karen's channel, on her YouTube channel. I can't remember what nail she used these on. Um, but yeah, her channel is always in linked in my description box. So go and check her channel out. The next one is called Luna. And this one is very similar to the last one. Only instead of being plain, it's got these like little stars on. This would be really nice for a galaxy theme set. I love the name too, Luna. Reminds me of Luna Lovejoy from uh, Harry Potter. There we go. And again, you can see, can you see the stars? But you'll see them slightly better when I take the white away. Look, you can see them much better there. I wonder what it would look like over black. Oh, I bet that would look really nice. I need to get experimenting. Okay, so the last ones were Ignore T Tiki Tropics. That's already on the website. Love that one though. That was really nice. I used that one the other day in a set. Okay, so there's these last, there is another glitter on the website called fl -l 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 -l. I want to say Flutter by Dreams that is um, that's a new one as well that was the name of the mix in the group actually quite recently check out Nail Sugar's group as well come and join the group um, I'll put the, the links always in the description box as well these are chameleon stars I love these I've used these on a set today that I did want to post today but I think this is this video is going to be way too long if I put the nails at the end of this. So I will do the nails tomorrow. Um, and then, how fun are these? Now, I hate everything aliens. Uh, like, I don't mind, like, funny looking... No, but, like, little green men aliens freak me the heck out. So these were a bit like, oh, my God. But, you know what, they're kind of cute in a way. And I like that you get the little holographic silver, um, like, planets as well look and can you see that look at it in the light you get a really nice i don't know it kind of goes like orangey yellow and then last but not least which i think is probably my favorite out of the whole bunch of new goodies is this unicorn mylar now it's not like the myro micro mylar it is bigger chunks so this is probably best used with hard gel or acrylic it's probably going to be a little bit difficult to encapsulate with gel pol in gel polish or just a top coat but use all different sorts of colors of mylar through this so it's really nice so they're all on Nail Sugar's website now www.nailsugar.co.uk also the brush is back so the detailer brush you can now pick up on the website. You can use code NATMUG10 to save yourself 10%. 
um, but I'll do the nails tomorrow. Hope you like this. If you did, please leave a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing, and I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.